What up, Doe Ledge here, chill with me. Prediction time. Y'all know what time it is. The Battle Academy Respect the Shooter goes down Saturday, November 23rd in Philly. Shout out to the whole staff, Stiz and everybody over there, man. Put together a pretty, pretty solid card, man. Pretty solid card. So definitely if you're in the, in the area, check it out. It's also on pay-per-view if you want to cop it. But yeah, if uh if you're in the building, I believe the tickets are like thirty five dollars. That is not bad for a car like this. <laughs> I've seen some cars that overpriced for a car that's wasn't even as good as this as far as names go. So yeah, y'all know how I do, man. So if y'all familiar with my prediction methods and my steps and procedure, I start off with what I feel is gonna be the weakest battle on the card as far as like outcome and results and performance, and I'm a take it all the way to what I feel is going to be battle of the night. So it might not even be the main event that's last that I talk about, but we'll see. We don't know, all right? Starting off with Bray Woods versus Heron. All right, Heron is from Baltimore, and uh, Bray Woods is from Philly. He's a Philly native. I've seen him on Battle Academy a few times. Unique style. Got some nice little presence to him. Comedic side and freestyle. Heron is like your standard be more uh, as far as his sound, his accent, but he's fared very well. Like I said, uh, Bray Woods been on Battle Academy a lot. Heron, he's been around for a few more years that I've seen. I I even remember him against Little Nay, another Baltimore guy. They those two Baltimore guys was actually on 15 Minutes of Fame series called Draft Night, hosted by DNA and Charlie Clips. Uh, if you've been ever paying attention to that. Heron actually won a chance to battle DNA and fared very well against DNA. DNA won, of course, just overly seasoned and just more skillful. But he showed his he showed his worth, man. He wasn't bad in that. As far as this battle goes, I'm not sure if it's a one rounder or a three rounder, but in any case, I'm gonna pick Heron over Bray Woods. I know Bray Woods is in Philly, but I think my problem with him is he's he's heavily relying on freestyling. Like I can't remember a battle that I've seen. I think I've seen two or three where he wasn't trying to freestyle and he don't just like a rebuttal quick off the top. It's like a freestyle and he try to freestyle for a long period of time. And unless you're extraordinary at it, I wouldn't advise it. So I don't think he's extraordinary at it. And I think he, because of that, I think it's going to be to his detriment. I got hair on this one, two, one clear. If it's a, a three round battle. Next battle I want to talk about is Prep versus Profit. All right. Last time I seen Profit, I believe. I think I seen a battle. Yeah, I think it was him and Jay Murder. And Jay Murder won that. That was on the Battle Academy as well. I think that was for the Bill and Rex card, if I'm not mistaken. I seen that. So he he's good. He's good. He's got some work to do. He got some. They all got a lot of work to do. But, you know, he's got some. Uh, seasoning some little nuances that he can pick up on and as far as prep goes look man he's been on url he's been on the biggest stages before before and i don't think um he has any real realistic shot at losing this battle unless he just has one of those prep moments where he just comes unprepared and chokes or something right or like literally not show up to the battle but he's more skillful and this is the thing with prep when there's no pressure on him and he's because I call him one of those free spirit battlers where, yo, we just come in to entertain, put on a show. No, nothing, nothing on the line. He excels in that. But if you look at his career, anytime he had that big moment to shine and go to that next level, he's kind of jammed up, man. He jammed like uh, versus Chilla jammed versus John John jammed even recently versus Loso. He had a potential to get a bigger plate and he lost and he even admitted that he lost. Right. So. This battle isn't to that magnitude, so I, I expect him to win this pretty comfortably 2-1. So, yeah, that's with that battle, all right? Next matchup I want to talk about is Dre Dennis versus Jack Boy Maine. Dre Dennis, one of the most active battlers ever to, ha to own a league <laughs> and just one of the most active battlers ever, especially this year. He's been, like, he's been on, like, a hell of a run. I feel like I've seen him... 30 times this year already, but yeah, man, Dre Dennis, a vet, very, uh, poise done can rap on beat. I've seen him. You've seen him against uh bill collector on verbal war zone. He can punch. 
he's a nice nice quality rider got some aggression to him he's just a vet man he's just one of those guys that's always going to bring it and jack boy you know he's dynamic and explosive when he wants to be I think sometimes he get in trouble is with these long drawn out build ups that don't really get get anywhere. And I know a lot of people are down on him, but I hope he bounces back and puts on a show because a lot of people have stock in him and a lot of people do want to see him do well. Um been saying that though, I'm gonna go with Dre Dennis just because he's I'm not gonna lie, he's a safer pick and I think he's more well rounded than Jack Boy is. So I'm gonna go with him on the two one edge. But I do think this is gonna be a good battle. I do think Jack Boy is gonna have all three rounds. He's he hasn't battled in a while, it seems. Maybe I'm tripping, but since the franchise battle seems a minute ago, right? So we'll see. But I'm gonna go with Dre Dennis two one in that one. K Walker versus J four hundred. J four hundred is a seasoned vet jersey guy and um when he's on and when he's comfortable he's he's really really locked in he's a really good mc right and uh k walker philly native they love him over there he's been putting in work over there when philly when people was like yo where's the talent at in philly he, he was getting it in he was in the trenches getting it out the mud man so he's come a long way he's got a nice presence about him and i and i think he's just like a really good showman like a hitman holler he's not to the level of hitman holler but he has some showmanship about him that um i guess goes over well on camera and i think with that being in favor and him being in philly i'm gonna edge him to one slightly in this battle and um yeah not too much yeah not too much take on this one i just think j400 i don't i never know which which guy I'm gonna get the unprepared one, the one that's locked in and feel like he he got a chip on his shoulder. You you just never know. So I'm gonna go with K Walker because I believe he understands how big of a look this is for him to get to that next level, being on a pay per view in your hometown. I think he's he's one of those guys who might rise to the occasion under pressure. So we'll see. I could be totally wrong about that. All right, next matchup I want to talk about is Chef Trez versus Snake Eyes. All right, Chef Trez, another guy, uh, top 10 champion of the year candidate, incredibly active this year and incredibly still consistent, the rebuttal king, that's right, I've said it, he is the rebuttal king in my opinion, and you got Snake Eyes coming off a nice showing versus, um, versus Ace I mean, excuse me, in a, in a matchup that have plenty of people had him losing going into the battle but the consensus seems like he won i i had him winning the battle and the consensus seems to agree as well so he should be feeling confident my problem is i feel like he's gonna be overconfident and chef trez never gets moved by outcomes of previous battles he's always himself he doesn't do anything because of you know negative feedback or even positive feedback he's just very even kill and i think that's going to be to his benefit in this matchup so i'm gonna go with chef trez 2-1 clear i think snake may get either the first or the third or something after the battle like i can see him getting the third after chef trez clearly wins the first two so that's how i got that matchup Next matchup on the card I want to talk about is I'm going to go with Enes versus Franchise. Dynamic, energetic. This is going to be fast paced. <laughs> this might have a lot of like room shakers just because the way they flow and they patterns like, well, their pattern because I feel like they kind of only got one joint. Like their go-to big uh, shout out to E. E always calls it the uh, mash button flow, particularly with franchise. But when they got that, um, I'm pretty sure the Philly fans might go crazy over that franchise. Another, you can argue he's if if you if you really think about it, you can argue he's top 15, 20 champion of the year candidate as well. Like he's not going to win it, but he's had a really good year, man. Really good year. He destroyed Jack Boy Maine. I got him debatably beaten chess he lost to av but um he destroyed jack boy and um oh and danny he beat danny too in my opinion so he's had a strong year ness is going to be back in philly though and that's why i'm gonna go with e ness because when i look at their two styles they're, like i said they're very similar as far as energy pace and that flow right and they not really heavy neither one are heavily relying on punches my thing is you aren't going to be able to out. I don't think 
franchise has mastered his style as much as Enes has mastered his style. And I think at some point you're going to see the difference. I think you're going to see a lot of more dry spots with franchise than you do see with uh, Enes. So I'm going to go with Enes 2-1 with an edge. Next matchup. Tay Rock versus T-Rex. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be the battle of the night, but I think it's going to be second. So we're going to talk about this one. A lot of anticipation, a lot of turmoil, a lot of controversy, a lot of back and forth. Rex, um, I was rooting for you, Rex. <laughs> I was I was choosing you, Rex. I really was. But that battle versus Rosenberg Raw, and it got me a little worried. Your conditioning breath control none of that was there. i'm not talking about his lack of professionalism i think a lot of people are getting that confused it's just it's really just your the way the way i've seen you try to control that stage in that one round or in that three round battle versus rosenberg it got me a little worried man I'm not even gonna hold you i'm gonna go with rock because the last time i seen you rocking the one rounder versus uh Versus bad news, he was phenomenal. Now, a lot of that because, you know, it was a lot of news flips. And you can always, you it's it's much more easier to write when you're flipping a name. So, we're going to see, man. We're going to see. Maybe you were playing possum. Maybe you just didn't care about that battle. Maybe you're about to wrap your heart out versus Rock. I don't know. I just know conditioning-wise... Because I, all that stuff like that factors into me. Conditioning wise, are you going to be ready to go the distance? Because it ain't going to be just a one rounder for four or five minutes. You know what I'm saying? You have to rap, rap. So I don't know. And I've I've seen Tay Rock rap until he's till sweat is leaking out of his sneakers, dog. Like I've seen it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep it safe. I'm gonna go with Rock. If Rex winds up shocking the world and winning. Cool. That's good for battle rap. But I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Tay Rock in this one. I think he's gonna have more to say to Rex than Rex is gonna have to say to him. Just based on the dynamics of the whole cave gang and dot mob affiliations and leaving the whole thing about the fight. Like all that stuff, I feel like Rock is gonna touch on that in in a multitude of ways because he was the guy coming into sit to the situation. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna go with Rock in that one, man. Uh yeah, I had I had to change that one up. Next matchup, I got this being Battle of the Night. I think Bill Collector versus Av is going to be dope. I do. I think it's going to be Battle of the Night. I think Bill Collector is going to make the proper adjustment. I could be totally wrong on this, but I think he's going to make the proper adjustments from his DNA battle. Also, we got to keep in mind that this this crowd is, a, is going to be probably a more truer reflection on Philly, the, the, the city. Because that URL crowd, although it was in Philly, I don't know how many people was representing the city of Philly in there. And URL crowds are different than the crowd, than your local crowds. You know what I'm saying? They might latch on to what Bill is doing a little bit more. So we'll see. But Av is a demon, man. He be punching crazy. He had a great year besides the little blip against Ill Will, which he was still good in that battle. So I'm just... I can't wait to see it, man. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take a chance. A chance. I this because look, it's all for fun. I got nothing to lose here. I'm not putting money on this. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go with Bill Collector two one, and a slight edge. I think he's. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. You know why? Because for as good as Av is, and he's been good. When you got somebody like Ill Will and T Top, who can be a little more well rounded than he is, a K Shine, they tend to beat Av. Those three names alone Ill Will, K Shine, and um, wait, who I said? Ill Will, K Shine, and T Top. They beat him clear to me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with somebody who's a little more multifaceted. And I think while we will get humor from Bill, that's what he does. I think he's going to try to bar up because he knows points matter in this system and <laughs> in, in this matchup. And Ab's going to win points when it comes to bar for bar because he's punching every bar. I think he's going to mix it up a little bit better, Bill Collector is. And I think he's going to take it on the edge, man. 
on it. I, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm probably the only one who's picking Bill right now, but I'm going to stand on that. Fuck it, man. You only live once, right? All right, so look, man, that's Respect the Shooter, my predictions. November 23rd, tune in. It's going to be a good one. I think it said, I think the, they said the doors open at 1.30 or whatever. Battle starts around 3. So if you're in the building, be in the building. All right. want to thank you all for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Uh, y'all know me. I'm on Twitter, Pod Tier. That's where I run my mouth the most, talking all that shit, that battle rap stuff, man. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in to my podcast, Top Tier Podcast, on all your streaming services. And I'm gone. And as always, keep it battle rap. Love. This content is being sponsored by 420 Brand Clothing. Shop at 420brandclothing.com. They got the latest gear for you for men and women. That means new arrivals such as the men and women's bubble vests. They got dope hoodies, tees, tanks, jackets, joggers, beanies, you name it. They got it, all right? Mention my name as the promo code. So put LEDGE in all caps, L-E-D-G-E. And you'll get yourself 10% off any purchase on the site. That's right. Mention my name and they got you, all right? Also, be on the lookout for the Battle Academy's event, Respect the Shooter. You'll see PA's Finest, Bill Collector, and K. Walker repping 420 brand clothing with some custom pieces. I'm telling you, get with the movement. 420 brand clothing. Shop at 420brandclothing.com. If you're not familiar, get familiar.